Everybody, it's Tyler here at Calvin State University in Finn, checking team number 10 at 23 Bedford Express. And I'm here with Josh, Gabe, and Brendan. Everybody talking through uh, this robot. I love the uh, quickness that this robot has. Uh, Bedford Express is me, always known as quick cyclers, quick scorers, and they do such a great job. Of course, going through the full cargo journey up into the climber. All this and more coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. So Josh, we're gonna start out with the uh, intake on your robot. So talk to me about uh, some of the iterations and processes and what's gone into it. Iterations and processes, we wanted to find different ways to uh, cycle our balls towards the center so we can put it into our indexer. Uh, we're really proud of our uh, vectored intake wheels. We printed these on an SLA printer. Um, so these are all 3D printed. Um, we usually try to go for a touch and go system to keep it real quick and keep our cycle time up. So here I'm gonna have Olivia run it real quick. We're gonna put a blue ball in. We're gonna show it intake. Turn it the other way, turn it the other way. So we're going to put it in our intake and we're going to show it uh, cycle in and then we're going to show our sorting system because we're able to uh, uh, choose which balls actually go to our shooter. So. Right. All right, so now that we have both of them intake, we can use color sensors to know when to stop intaking. And now Olivia is going to show our sorting system so we can spit out other teams' balls if necessary. So just like that, if we get the wrong color, we're able to send it out the back and we can keep uh, cycling. When you were looking at this uh, game, like where did that fall in the priority of like, hey, this is something we need to do or was it kind of like a, we want to have it? It's something, it was a really big want to have, especially with our um, defense. We want to be able to pick other teams' balls up and move them out of the way, either to clear out our zones or just make it a little bit more difficult for other teams to score. When you were packaging your robot, how did you kind of uh, think about like, hey, like we need to have this space for ejecting it, and then also trying to get like the right curve or bend to get the cargo up into your shooter as well? Curving was a lot of prototyping. We used a lot of 3D printed uh, pieces, a lot of plywood and stuff like that, and we built um, uh, boxes and fixtures just to test compression with the balls to get it to snake through the way it does. Um, we tried to keep the center of our robot as open as possible because we wanted a straight path through. Uh, make ejecting the balls a lot easier. All right, well, next we're gonna go into your uh, shooter uh, area, so let's talk about that, and of course into your climber as well. I think, uh, is Gabe gonna talk about that? Let's talk a little bit more about uh, your shooter concept, what's gone into it, and then uh, of course we'll wrap into your climber as well. So for the shooter, we wanted to have a shooter where we could shoot like one position or two position. Right now, we are shooting at like, so we'll put the bumper, again, this bumper against the wall of the hub, and we'll shoot right out and make it in the high goal. Um, we are trying to make a second position shooter, but we didn't have enough time to do it. So the second position shooter would let us be able to not go from the hub, but further away like to the line, so we could shoot like basically from anywhere. Talk to me about your uh, climber. It looks like you got a little bit of 3D printing on it, and uh, where did climb, kind of climbing fall in regards to your hierarchy of objectives between uh, shooting cargo? We started off just, to, we wanted to get, we wanted to be able to get the points for climbing. So we just started off with mid-rung and we wanted to design something that we would be able to use for the traversal later in the season. So we started off something where we would just shoot up and then these 3D printed parts would catch the, so it would like max out the height and we would drive up to it. And then we have a rope that would winch us up right here and then pull us up. As we start to wrap up in your robot, I want to talk uh, to Brennan a little bit more about match strategy for things. So we watched your uh, last match. You actually played a lot of defense in that last match. So I'd love to hear more about uh, how Bedford Express approaches uh, defense. And then what has been your general thoughts about Rapid React and match strategy so far? Yeah, so we really like this game, obviously, and it's really crazy. There is a lot of commotion, a lot of things going on. As cool as our robot might look, everything that can go wrong has absolutely gone wrong in the worst way possible. Um, just a few examples, our shooter bearings have popped out uh, on our intake. We have lost belts, we have lost pulleys, things have cracked, things have bent. We have replaced these multiple times. Um, we've also had battery brownouts. So that being said, we've had plenty of opportunities to play defense. And the more we play defense, the more we realize it's actually a very viable strategy this year. 
almost every team on this are in this competition has been succumbed to our defense, and we are able to absolutely shut them down. Um, sometimes it's the best thing we can do, and you just got to make the best out of the best or best out of a worst situation. Well, 1023, you're still doing quite well here as we record this, still in the top eight. Uh, so it looks to be an effective strategy. Can't wait to see how, of course, you uh, do here at Calvin State, but good luck the rest of the competition season as well. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much. Thanks to Striker Careers for their support in this video. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Striker. Striker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.